Leesburg Dam State Park is located just a short 25 minute drive from New Mexico's second largest city, Las Cruces. Situated at an elevation of 3,962 feet, the park offers peace and relaxation, several hiking trails, fishing, stargazing, camping, and of course, excellent opportunities for viewing birds. A total of 250 different species have been sighted within the park boundaries. For $5 per vehicle, the park is open daily from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Camping is available for visitors that want to stay overnight. Camping is on a reservation-only system through Reserve America. The spacious sites are very clean and surrounded by native Chihuahuan desert vegetation. Electric and water sites are $14 per night. Tent sites are $10 per night, plus a reservation fee of $4 per night. Each site has a shelter, picnic table, and a fire ring. Showers and toilets are located across from the visitor center, and numerous vault toilets can be found throughout the park. A dump station is located next to the visitor center. Several trails lead from the campground to the Rio Grande. Visitors can also drive the short distance to Leesburg Dam Road. Where you can access the parking area and trailhead for the Lower Mogollon Trail. This trail follows alongside the river for a half a mile and it is the best area for birding. The two parking areas along the road also have well-kept picnic areas with numerous trees that attract a good variety of birds. The Lower Mogollon Trail has abundant salt cedars, also known as tamarisk. The main impacts of these non-native trees are that they lower the water table and create large deposit of salt in the soil. However, they do offer shelter and abundant insects for migrating birds that are in unfamiliar territory and even offer nesting opportunities for some summer breeders. Native trees can also be found along the trail, such as hackberries, which are a valuable food source, and numerous willow trees. Several vantage points along the trail allow good views of the Rio Grande. This turkey vulture was basking in the early morning sun trying to warm itself.
Once warmed up, it was time to do a little grooming before setting off for the day. Once the morning began to reach a warm 70 degrees Fahrenheit, it was time to flap those wings to gain some height. Once reaching a certain height, it soared graciously on a thermal and effortlessly began its migration south for the winter, along with several other companions. Our favorite birding spot is the riparian area directly below the dam. This is a good spot to look for the impressive white-faced ibis during spring and fall. This long-legged wading bird with the long, strong curved bill breeds in the western United States, Mexico, and parts of South America. Only the breeding plumage adults have the namesake white face. The adult killdeer is the only plover in North America that has two breast bands. Although this common and widespread plover is often found around human habitation, it is often very shy and quickly runs or flies away if approached. Several species of swallows can be found throughout the summer months, the most notable being the cave swallow. The range and population of the swallow has dramatically increased since the 1980s in southern New Mexico, Texas, and Florida. Present at Leesburg Dam from late February through October, cave swallows have adapted to nesting under bridges and other man-made structures. These birds were flying back and forth to their nests located under the bridge next to Leesburg Dam. Here we have three species of swallows. Can you guess what they are? A barn swallow on the left, a bank swallow in the center, and a juvenile cave swallow is on the right. Once thought to be a wobbler, the tanager-like yellow-breasted chat was recently placed in its own unique family. Scientists now consider it to be a cross between a wobbler and a mockingbird. Although common at Leesburg from May through September, its skulking habits can make it difficult to see as it often hides in dense thickets. Other birds that we have photographed in previous visits to Leesburg Dam include this black-crowned night heron, American pipit, crystal thrasher, northern mockingbird,
and Faina Pepla. And this out of range Rusty Blackbird. While well, birding was our main purpose during our visit, we could not resist the urge to watch this painted lady butterfly. The painted lady is very common and widespread across North America and can often be found throughout the year in the warmer southern regions. This individual is nectaring on a rabbit brush, a shrub that is native to the western United States. We hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, please click the like button and feel free to comment down below. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss our next Advent Nature.